going to work through some body blasting and we're going to work a bit of core at the end. Um, you'll be, if you've done hit before, you'll be fairly used to the sort of intervals that we're going to do. We're going to do ascending with a speed work just to get the heart rate up. Um, and we're going to do each round, we're going to be three circuits, we're going to do each circuit three times. Test, um, and the core, we're going to do 30 on, 10 off, because there's only going to be three exercises in the core section. So it's going to be, as, it, as, as the title suggests, it's going to be quite high intense. We're going to try and work through a lot of the zones, a lot of the fitness zones. So we'll be working um, a little bit of cal cali burning, a little bit of fat zone, um, a little bit of the aerobic and a little bit of the anaerobic. So um, your, your, um, my fitness pal, your data will be going up and down as we go along. It'll be spiking and coming back down and, and going all the way through um, that way. So it's time, so it's all at your own pace. I'm going to provide some modifications, so don't worry if you can't do the exercise that I'm doing or the speed that I'm doing it at because it's all in your pace. So please don't feel like you've got to keep up with me. Um, you've, you've got your time limit there, so just do what you can at your own pace. Um, so assuming that you've got water, you've got a mat um, or something comfortable to lie on. I'm just going to tilt my screen slightly so you can see my head. Um, and then we're going to do um, a little warm up three circuits and a cool down at the end. So can you all see me okay? Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with a little warm up. So what we'll do is we'll do some mobility and then we'll do some pulse raising and then we're going to do just a couple of dynamic stretches. So for mobility, we'll just do a quick hip rotation. So take your hips round, three big circles one direction, three big circles the other direction. So it's just going to stretch out the hips, get them mobile. Uh, one more. And we're going to do some very basic arm swings. So we're going to take five back, five forward. And five forward when you're done. Perfect. We're just going to do a light jog on the spot just to get the body warmed up and the, the heart rate up a little bit. Just a light jog, nothing too strenuous. If you want to just march it out, that's fine, you can march it out as well. And we'll do a couple of dynamic stretches. So we're going to do some squat X's, so we'll take the hands up and we're going to come into a small squat and make an X at the bottom. So we're going to come down, up. So your legs want to be just about hip width, just wider than hip width apart, and you're going to hinge at the hips. Making sure you're sticking that bum out, keeping the spine nice and neutral. A couple more of these, and then we're going to go for a couple of lunges. Great, so we're going to do your lunges, alternating each leg at each time with a little rotation. Don't worry if you can't do the rotation, just do a standard lunge, but we're just going to open up the hips again and just get those legs working. So we're going to forward lunge, and back up, and rotate if you can. Just to mobilize the spine. As well as getting those legs nice and warm and ready for the speed work. Good. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll get started. We're going to start with jogging sprint intervals. So we're going to work 30 seconds each one, then we're going to work 60 seconds each one, and then we're going to work, no, sorry, 45 seconds each one, and then we're going to work 60 seconds each one and take a 30 second rest at the end before we start round two and then we'll go for a third round, take a break and then we'll go on to the next circuit. So we're going to do run jogs, run 30, jog 30 to begin with. Ready? Off we go. So this one's a run, it's a sprint. You want to kind of come onto the balls of your feet, get the arms working and keep the chest up high. Arms roughly about 90 degrees just to make it more efficient. And we're going to halfway there already. So it's your own rate, so just go at what you would faster than a jog. You want to keep that tempo consistent. Four seconds, three, two, and one. Nice light jog. So nice and light on the feet, let the heart rate come down a little bit. We're doing this for 30 again. So nice and light. What we're going to do next is go into a sprint again but for 45 this time. Almost there, 10 seconds to go on a jog. Five seconds, four, 
three, two, back into the sprint again. So this is for 45. Again, chest up. Want to keep the torso nice and tall. Arms and legs both working on the balls of the feet. Good, we're well over halfway now. 45 seconds. So the heart rate should be up now. Good, we've got 15 seconds. Good, less than 10 now. Keep going. We're almost at the jog. Ready, two, one. Back to our jog again. Nice and light. Let the heart rate come down. Remember your breathing as well. Nice, deep, consistent breaths. Let the oxygen get to the muscles. So this is 45 as well. We're going to go back to a sprint and a jog again, but for 60. So one full minute this time. Almost there, we've got less than 15. Again, if you want to march it out at this point, do it. This is just the jog, this is the light, light bit of cardio. Back to a sprint. Off we go, one minute. Again, legs, balls of the feet, with the torso nice and tall, chest up. Arms by your side at 90. And that should keep you going. Good. 40 seconds to go. Again, to help with that breathing, it's really important to keep that chest up. Good. We've got 20 seconds now. Almost there. Last sprint for round one. So keep your tempo if you can. 10 seconds. Good, almost there. Two, one. Good, back to a nice light jog. The last jog and then a proper 30 second rest. We'll grab some water. If at any point you need to grab water, do it. Don't feel you've got to wait. Grab water, slow it down a bit, march it out if you need to. But just keep moving, let that heart rate come down gradually. And move this mat to the core. This is just nice and light. 30 seconds to go and we'll take a proper break. <coughs> Good. Almost there. Keep going. We've got just over 10 seconds. <coughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Brilliant. Well done. Round 1 finished. We've got two more rounds to go. Two more rounds of speed work. And then we're going to go for some body blast exercises. So your modifications really are just to make things a bit slower. So, or speed them up, but to make it slower, when I'm sprinting, go for the jog, get the heart rate up. When I'm jogging, go for the march and just keep that heart rate going. We're going to go for a run in a minute. Again, 30, 30, 45, 45, and then one minute and one minute. Okay, ready. Round two. 30 seconds sprint. Go for it. Balls of feet. Chest high. Arms at 90. Keep the tempo. Good, we've got 10 seconds. Keep it going. Good, three, 
two and one. Good, slow it down again. March it out if you need to. Otherwise, we're jogging on the spot nice and light. But the important part is just to keep the effort level harder than the, the rest, if you like. The jog, the more relaxed phase. Okay, so we've got 10 seconds. We're going to go for 45. Halfway down to four, three, two, and one. Good, 45 seconds. Here we go. Sprint. Keep it consistent. Good. Use those arms as much as the legs. Remember to breathe as well. Let the oxygen get to the muscles. Keep you going for longer. Good. 15 seconds. You're doing well. Keep going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. 45 on the jog. So we should see little spikes through the zones here. Working a bit of anaerobic, working a bit of aerobic. Good, good Cali burner. Good, we're halfway. Next, we've got one minute. <coughs> Keep going, we've got 10 seconds left on the jog. Back up to just a Good, three, two, one. Go for it, last sprint, one minute. Getting everything tall. Keep the breathing, keep it going. 20 seconds. Third of the way there, over the third now. Good, that's 30 seconds in, halfway. Last sprint this round, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep the pace, we're almost at the jog. Good, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. A minute jog and then we're going to rest again. And we've got one more full round before we hit body blast. So again, try and feel that breathing. Bring it back down, bring the heart rate down. And just keep it nice and light. Good, we're halfway. We've got another 30 seconds. And then we'll take a proper 30 second rest. So hopefully you're burning up a sweat now. You should have that nice glow. <laughs> Good, we've got 10 seconds left. So we're going to take a break. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good, well done. Round two finished. So grab some water if you need it. <coughs> good. So, same again. One last time, and then another rest before we hit body blast. So 30, 45, and 60 on each one. A few more seconds. Ready? Back to the run, 30 seconds, off we go. Again, you know what to do now, so on balls of feet, 
knees up, arms at 90, chest up. Good, we've got 10 seconds left, nice quick round. Three, two, and one, good. Jog again. March it out if you need to. Almost there. 10 seconds, then we're going to go for 45. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go for it. 45 seconds. Make these ones count. This is the last round. Good. Good, we're over halfway. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep up that effort level on the sprint. We're almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Forty-five again. On the jog. So one more sprint, last one, one full minute, and then a minute on the jog, and then we're cooling before we start the body blast. Good, 15 seconds. Almost there. We're going to start in a minute. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Last sprint. Let's go for it. Last one. Keep that chest high on the balls of the feet and breathe. Good, 20 seconds in already. Keep going. Keep going. We're not far off now. Last sprint. Almost there. Counting from 10 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Slow it down. We've got the jog. And then we're going to go for a 30 second rest whilst I explain what we're going to do next. Good. Hope you're not all okay. You're still with me. Grab some water if you need it. Go until the rest. If you really need it, go for it. Good. Keep that going. We've got another 30 seconds. And we're going to stop. Good, 20 seconds. Good. I'll count you from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Brilliant. That's speed work. Speed work done. So we're going to do body blast next. We're going to do rest periods in between each exercise this time. So rather than wait until the end, our rest periods follow each exercise. So 30 on, 30 off, three exercises, all body, power, 
high intense exercises. A couple of my favourite ones, we've got jumping jacks first. I think you all know what a jumping jack is, but follow me if you don't. High knees, keep the knees high. Nice, nice tempo, not too fast, not too slow, but keeping those knees high, that's important. And then the last one, my favourite, the burpee. We're going to do burpees. Modifications for the burpee. So if you want to take an advanced burpee, you're going to come down, you're going to kick it out to the floor, down to the chest, back up and jump. That's the advanced version. Other burpee, you're going to come down, simply jump it out, jump it in and jump it up. Modified burpee, you're going to step back, you're going to step in and you're going to try and get that jumping at the top. Really important to get that jumping at the top. So you've got the advanced chest to floor, you've got just the jumping back, jumping in and up, or you've got your walk in, walk out, walk in and jump. So please pick your own version, work at your own rate. It's 30 seconds. So as long as you're getting burpees in for the full 30, that's what counts. So we're going to go for jumping jacks first. We're going to do three rounds, just like the, the speed round. When we're ready, off we go. We're going to start with start. A few seconds. 30 second jumping jacks, 30 second rest and we're just going to keep that going. Three, two, one. Go for it. Jumping jacks. Landing on the heels. Keeping those arms up. Get a nice tempo going. Make sure you're landing on those heels though and get those arms right up. Good. Working on the breathing as well. Four, three, two, and one. Good. 30 second rest. So at this point, you can take your water, take a little break. 30 seconds, and we're going to go for high knees. So the break at the end is just a 30 second after the burpee. So it's high knees next, keeping those knees nice and high all the way through. 10 seconds. Another 30 seconds for high knees. Four, three, two, and one. Go for it. High knees. Up high. Keeping them high. Again, make sure your breathing counts. Get a nice rhythm going. We're under halfway now. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Another 30 seconds. <clears throat> so remember, you've got that chest to floor if you want a bit of a, an advanced version. Regular burpee in, out, up, or stepping it back, stepping it in, <clears throat> and at the end. Doesn't matter how many you do, just keep going for the 30 seconds. That's what counts. 10 seconds to go. So find a bit of room. Five, four, three, two, one. Go for it, burpees. Good. No matter what you're doing, just get that jumping at the top. Either slow it down, speed it up, or get that chest down to the floor. Good, five seconds. One more burpee. And we're done, good. 30 seconds, so this is your rest at the end. We're gonna go for jumping jacks in 30 seconds. Let the heart rate come down, get the breathing back, and we'll start again. So this is round two. So four seconds, jumping jacks, two and one, go for it, jumping jacks again. Landing on those heels, heels down, arms up. So legs should be coming just wider than shoulder width if you can. Four seconds, two and one, good. Another 30 second rest. 
we're going to go for high knees again. High knees and burpees. Grab some water if you need it. You keeping up, Dan? Ah, uh, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, nice, it's nice to put you through your faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, high knees, one, go for it. Up for the knees. Keeping it high all the way through. Good, over halfway. Keep going. Three, two, one, well done. 30 seconds and then the last exercise of round two, burpees. And then a bit of rest and we've got a cool in. Bit of core, not as, not as long, short core section with a cool down at the end. So we'll just run slightly over 30 minutes, but not much. Eight seconds, burpees. Five, four, three, two, one. Go for it, burpees. Good. Halfway, keep it going. Five seconds, keep going. Last one. Three, two, one. Well done. This is your rest at the end. One more round. So of course, just gonna be a few planks, full plank, left plank, right side plank. I'll show you the modifications as well. So it'll be a nice quick round at the end. Two seconds, we're gonna go jumping jacks. Ready, off we go, 30 seconds, jumping jacks. Good, to keep that breathing nice and consistent. Five seconds to go, keep it up. Four, three, two, and one, good. This is your last round for the body. High knees next, burpee. Have some water. Ten seconds, then we're going for high knees. Four, three, two, one, go for it. High knees, last high knees. Keep them high. Get them right up as much as you can. Again, you can march this out if you need to. March it out. Keep the knee high. Okay, that's us. Well done. Burpees, last one. <coughs> okay, 15 seconds left for rest. Burpees. Then a rest, quick rest before core. Okay, four, three, two, one, go for it, burpees. Good, keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Remember your modifications. Last one. Well done. Let's do rest. Take it. 
going to go into core. So grab a mat if you've got one. I'm going to lie down for this one. Adjust my screen slightly. Let's see if you can see it that a little bit better. There we go. So we've got core. We're going to go for full plank. 30 seconds. Short rest. Left side plank, right side plank. So the modification would be knees. On the knees for the plank. Same with the side plank on the knees. Or stack it up and come right up onto your side. Tuck those obliques, keep them tight. We're going to go for a full plank, 30 seconds on our forearms. Ready? Off we go. So, whichever plank you're in, keep that bum low, the tummy tight, and make sure those shoulders are stacked directly above the elbow. So no leaning, and keep that neck in line with the spine. We're well over halfway. So on the knees you can come, if you were doing knees, again same principles, shoulders above the elbows, above the wrists. For this one, two, one, good, 10 second rest. We're going to go for the left side plank. So onto your left side, if you want just a bit more support in the wrist, spread the fingers out. Shoulder again should be above the elbow, so you can be on your knees for this one, swing the legs back or come up full plank. Off we go. Stack the legs if you're coming up full. You can also be on the forearm or you can lift it right up onto, basically onto your hand. We're keeping this going, 30 seconds, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come down. Ten seconds. So again, let rest on that forearm if you need to. You can be on your knees. Or come up, full arm, stack the legs. We're going to go for thirty seconds again. Off we go. Five, so pick whether you want to be on the knees or stack them up. Forearm. Off the arm. Halfway already. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So one more round of core, so quick round, and a cool down. So we're almost there. We've got plank, left side plank, and right side plank. So this is a full plank on the forearms. When we're ready, off we go again. Shoulders above those elbows, bums in, tummies tight. Keep that spine neutral. If you feel when you're in the full plank, you feel like your back is overcompensating and it's dipping down, come down to your knees. Halfway. Keep it going, nice steady breathing. Keep all the tummy muscles and the bum nice and tight. Four, three, Two and one, good. Short rest, 10 seconds. Onto the left side plank. So again, pick your modification if you want to go on the knees with the forearm or if you want to come right up, stack the legs. But just make sure the elbow is directly under the shoulder. Keep tight in the sides. Off we go. So stack the feet up if you're coming full. Keep those arms nice and straight, don't lean into them. Tuck your core in, it's nice and straight. Good. We've got 15 seconds left, and then we've just got one more plank, and we're done. Three, two, one. Good. Last plank. Flip over to your right side. Again, spread those fingers if you want, if you're going to the full plank, you want a bit more support on the base. Ready? We're going to come up, last 30. 
Let's go for it. Good, keep breathing. We're halfway, 15 to go and we're done. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Well done everybody. That is it for today. Take a second, we'll do some stretches. We're gonna stretch out the legs, the arms, the back and the chest. I'll let you grab some water if you need it, and we'll do some legs. So for the legs, we're going to stretch out the three main parts. We'll go for the calf first. So what we'll do is we'll stretch out the calf. You can do some stretches lying down. You can do them standing up. I'm going to do them standing up, just very basic stretches. So we're going to do calves. So you're going to take one foot back. You're going to keep the heel to the floor at the back, and you're going to push it out. You'll feel that stretch on the lower part of the back leg. So you don't want to overstretch it, don't pull it too much, just enough. This is just going to help the blood circulate again, just get rid of all the waste products. Get quite a lot when you're doing hip workouts. And change legs, so you're going to flip around, heel to the floor on the other side. Few more seconds and we're going to do hamstrings. So the hamstrings, we're going to work the back of the legs here. So you're going to take one leg long in front of you, the other one will be bent and you're going to lean into the bent leg whilst hinging the hips, sticking that bum right out and you should feel that. If you don't feel it, stick the bum out. You feel it right on the back of the leg that's long in front of you. Keep that spine neutral as well. And other side, so other leg long, lean into the bent leg and push your hips back. Good, last one for the legs. We're going to work these quads down the front here. So hold on to something if you need it. You're going to take one leg up, knees together, push the hips forward slightly. So when you're pushing the hips, just tip them forward a little bit with the pelvic tilt, just tip it forward. And you'll feel that down the front of the bent leg. And switch sides, going to another leg, take that leg behind, knees together, push forward. Great. Good, we're going to do back. So just the upper back, just create a circle with the hands. You're just going to lean in, put the head down, feel the stretch across the top of the back and the shoulders when we did the jumping jacks, burpees, the plank even. A few more seconds and when we're ready, we're just gonna bring the arms out nice and long and just stretch out on the chest. If you want a deeper stretch, you can bring those hands behind and just push through the chest. This is a good one, especially if you're sitting over your computer all day working away. And the last one, we're just going to do the core, we just work the core. So take your hands up nice and tall and just lean over. And you're just going to stretch out the trunk and the sides of the obliques, side plank. A few seconds, bring it back to centre and then just stretch over the other side. That's us, fantastic, well done, thank you very much. Brilliant, thank you, it was really nice to meet you all.